Okay boys, real quick, I'm going to be raising the idle speed on the vet because we did do the 25% reduction pulley. And I've been trying to burp it and then I thought it was good driving around and it was overheating a little bit. I did forget to raise the idle speed 25%. So that's what you're going to want to do after you get the reduction pulley installed. Because people, I haven't had problems with it yet, but people have had charging issues like the accessories charging and all that. Um, I'm just having issues with it kind of overheating, getting really warm at idle. So what I'm going to do is go ahead into base set point. We got everything right there. I'm going to highlight it all because 25% of 650 and that's what our uh, base idle is uh, when it's up to 10 or so or just from, let's see here, from 133 up, it's at 650. So 25% of 650 is 162.5 or something. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and just raise it up 150 here. So I highlighted everything. 150 and we're using HP tuners and then I'm gonna click the plus sign here There we go um, And then I'm just gonna go ahead write it to the car and then we can go ahead and continue finish the final burp Sorry for the glare So I just finished up writing the new idle speed to the car. Uh, everything's good. It's completed uh, I'm gonna show you guys how I'm going about this real quick on the burping part of it and sorry about the wind noise I'm going to leave the cap off for probably about two minutes or so during the initial idle. And then I do have it raised right here, as you guys can see. Um, I just have a little box under there because I was having issues burping it with it stuck or sitting in the stock location. So I just want it a little higher so it's the highest point. Uh, to achieve this, there's a 10 millimeter nut right there. And there's going to be one right there. And then it just slides right out. So I did forget to mention while we were out there, um, I have the coolant just below the full cold line. I don't want to have too much coolant in there so that when I go to burp it, uh, it doesn't come spilling out like it did on me earlier uh, when I was trying to do this. Uh, so what you're going to do is start it up and then idle it between 2,500 and 3,000 RPMs. Uh, back and forth or just keep it at 3,000 whatever you want to do for about 30 seconds let off let it idle for 30 seconds and then bring it back up continue to do that till the coolant hits about 210 shut it off uh, what I've been doing is just burping it from there and then letting it sit wait for it to cool off and then do it again what I'm trying to achieve right now is I've had an air pocket stuck uh, keeping the thermostat from going from opening so the lower radiator hose has been staying cold so what I'm going to do is just do that until there's fluid going through the lower radiator hose and call it good and we'll go for a drive. It already sounds so much better. Before I upped the RPMs, it was stumbling and wanting to die. All right, she's up to 210. Let's check that lower hose. Ah, damn. Yeah, she's warm. She's definitely toasty. That means the thermostat opened. That's awesome. I'm actually really pumped about that. Uh, so yeah, definitely if you're going to be burping it, raise the reservoir and that should solve your problem. Like I said, repeat. Uh, you might have to let it cool down if you haven't done it yet uh, and then keep repeating the process. All right, boys. Well, I've let myself and the car cool down a little bit. Um, let's let it adjust real quick. Oh okay, yeah, there we go. Um, as you guys can see, that's a little bit melted and the belt is not all the way on there. And then the AC belt is just chilling right there. Didn't even touch it. That thing was just hanging out right there. I'll explain what happened here in just a minute, but yeah. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and assume that we've got some underdrive pulley walk. I don't know if that's my bad with not getting the right torque spec or what. I went through everything. I did the yield to torque bullshit. But here's the belt, the AC belt. Oh, it's actually still intact. It's got a little bit of a chunk missing right there. Okay. All right, boys, I'm just trying to get out of the wind a little bit. Yeah, so that sucks. Um, I was, I just took it for a drive, was going through town, had the AC on, going through all of that. Didn't even rip on her really at all. Um, got on a little bit, but nothing crazy. Uh, the temperatures were around 208 to 210, so not as low as I would like, but not as high as they were before, so that's definitely plus. Um, so I came back to the house. I was going to grab a GoPro or the camera um, and then show you guys and go for a drive. Uh, pop the hood and that's what I saw so I don't know like I said I don't know obviously the pulley the underdrive pulley has walked forward a little bit 
So that extra sucks because I can't do anything about it till uh, the new parts come in. I already went ahead and ordered an ARP lower bolt for it. Um, I don't know if I should order a billet or just another plastic um, tensioner pulley, but I need to get a new one of those and then a new AC belt. Uh, crappy thing is those, I can't even start it up. Um, I'm gonna have to just go ahead and work on it in the driveway. So we're gonna have to, I'm not gonna remove the pulley completely. We're gonna have to pull the steering rack. I'm gonna try and move it around a little bit so I don't have to remove it completely. My plan is just to tighten the pulley back up, sink it back up, and then get the ARP bolt in there and hopefully we'll be good to go. Other than that, sorry it's such a short video. Um, I just wanted to get a quick one out there for you guys because I've been getting questions on overheating with the underdrive pulley. Uh, apparently people have been having issues with that as well. So I was just gonna do a quick video. I didn't even do an intro for it. Um, also, I haven't been really wanting to be on camera. Um, I explain a little bit in the next video when we're working on the truck. Um, I'll explain on there, but yeah, my face got all jacked up. My whole body did. I've just, yeah, I haven't really been doing a whole lot. Um, and I just wanted to make a video and get the car going, but yeah, car stuff happens. Um, we'll get it fixed. I hope you guys learned something at least on how to get the temps lower or how to burp the car. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you guys have a great day.